WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and cool Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update. And Kirk, we've got a mixed bag out there. You've got the Dow trading up 86 points, a quarter percent. Six points for the S&P, one-tenth percent, half percent for the NASDAQ 100, 78 points there. The Russell's off two, semis are up $101, uh, that's 2.7% uh, to the upside. Gold's down 15 bucks and change, silver's off 18 cents, lights we crude down 11 pennies, natural gas off 27 cents, 30 treasury down nine ticks. She's printed out at 118.23. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that. Nine panel. Market update chart. We'll begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand screen. What do we know? We know that the uh, price right now, that the ES Mini is trading inside its um, July 27th swing point. That swing point ranges from 4662.50 to 4738.50. You close inside 4662.50. Odds favor you make a run for that high. Spot volatility is still in favor of the uh, bulls out here. It's trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. The NQ is attempting to take out its roads momentum indicator top. That's priced at 164.1025. The high of the day so far is 164.1275. Watch the 164.1025 level. If price closes above that, that tells us about a further rally that is likely to happen. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, a close today above 103.80, we're trading at 103.83 right now, would actually trigger an A to B equals CDT upside. And that would give us an initial price projection level of 104.66. Goldilocks, that sell the D point pattern, closed below the bottom of its daily profile on Friday, trading below Friday's low today, that suggests lower price. If we take a look at silver, it's really the same thing out there, although it's been well below the bottom of its daily profile. This is second Session 245 out there that also wants lower price. Lights we crude on Friday formed a buy the D point pattern. Now there's a new bullish structure, I'm sorry, there's a new bearish structured profile that has also formed. So the resistance zone on any rally would be between 75.28 and 77.44 out there. I do know that price is running a resistance, that's its oscillator and change line. If we take a look at natural gas, today will become bar number eight of a TD nine count pattern. It's likely to form a TD nine count bottom between today and and Wednesday. If we take a look at the 30 year Treasury, the 30 year Treasury has formed a new daily profile. This form may sell the D point pattern. And price just may be pulling back to test support. And support here is between 116.19 and 117.17. That's its bullish structured daily profile. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're up to start your Monday, thanks so much for joining us. Have a magnificent one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.